August. But, but what, are, what are the type of things that you can get accomplished in the spring and to kind of pave the way for, for August? Every spring we have a goal of going out there and, and uh, kind of starting all over again. Uh, reteaching all of our drills because um, our drills end up being our, our techniques that we use and our techniques are things that we play with in the game. So we start off, start off with that, teaching all that stuff over again and, and, and establishing the fundamentals uh, so the guys have an opportunity to uh, go out and uh, learn how to execute once more. You know, a lot of those guys have played for us last year were freshmen, so it's their second time here. And the guys that are sophomores are, it's their, it's their fourth time here. And so, I mean, it just keeps building and building and building. And uh, we should get better and better as we go because we're teaching the same things over and over again. Having seen, the players having seen last year how well the special teams played and what an impact that had, is there more enthusiasm, do you think, for playing on special teams now because of that? Um, you know, I, I don't think the special the, the, the enthusiasm ever died for us. I mean, even in the beginning, I mean, uh, you know, I don't want to harp on two years ago since we just won a national championship, but I believe this, that uh, at the beginning when we, were, when we were implementing all that stuff, guys were learning it. And uh, there were guys that were lesser athletes that were playing it. And, uh, but it was the same thing that we were teaching. And they were still playing with much enthusiasm and a lot of people didn't realize we had a, a, a big problem in some areas until, you know, game five or six. And I think that's an attribute, that's an attribute to, the, to the players because the guys that were playing were, uh, you know, for the most part, a lot of walk-ons for us in their first year playing on the field. And, and a lot of people didn't realize we had a big issue until later on in the year. So we, 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 we fooled a lot of you guys for a while <laughs> until we got into the SEC to start playing those LSUs and some of those guys and then, and then the talent the lack of talent didn't, didn't start to show up. I know you like to have competition at the specialist spots, but at least on paper it seems like, you know, you got to be counting on Parkey and Clark to, to win those jobs. Uh, well, you know, yeah, I mean, for as for right now, I mean, we're, we're going to bring in another kicker and uh, we'll bring in another punter. Uh, we got we got uh, Chandler Brooks who's competing with Stephen Clark right now as a punter. We always want to have competition there. There's no spot on our team that, that's just a given. Um, particularly with guys that haven't started for us for a full year yet. And, uh, you know, we're, we're pushing those kids to get better and those, their backups are pushing them to get better uh, as well. And I think it's going to heat up quite a bit in the fall as well because, like I said, we got a couple more kids coming in. How have Parking Clark looked? Uh, you know what? Uh, C Cody's looked very well, uh, especially in the, field, in, in, in the area of field goals, field goal kicking. Uh, he's been really strong. He hit a, a 49 yard, it looked like it, you know, in the scrimmage it probably would have been good from 60. Uh, he had the wind in his back, but uh, it, it, was a, it was a pretty good kick and, and a lot of them are down the middle and, and, uh, and uh, with good height. So, I mean, he's doing a good job, his get off time, we have to get him a holder. That was a big issue at the beginning of the spring, but we found some kids that, that are doing a good job. We built some depth there and, and, uh, and uh, so I've been really pleased with him. I'm not pleased right now with uh, where we are uh, kicking the ball off. Uh, we haven't obviously done it in a live setting like we do field goal kicking, but we have been testing those guys throughout the spring, and and we're not um, kicking the ball off the way I want to see see us kick it off consistently. I mean, we got times where it's good, but uh, but it's not what, what I want it to be. And the punting game, it's 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 uh, you know right now I think we're averaging somewhere around 38 yards with a lot of hang time, which is fine if if we do that every time. But the problem with that is. If you never get any that are, you know, that are further than that, then you shank one, and now all of a sudden your average is way down. And uh, you know, I feel very confident that that we'll do a great job of covering the majority of the kicks. But I want to see us get our average up around the forties and uh, consistently be there. I love the hang time that we're getting. Uh, I think uh, Steven has been much more consistent uh, as as a second year player than he was last year for us, especially with the field location that we're asking him to put it in. Uh, you know, because we do a lot of directional kicking, uh, or putting, I should say, and uh, he's been very consistent with that. But uh, you know, the the distance right now that that I'm looking for, uh, four and a half second hang time is awesome. I mean, you'll shut somebody down. That's a great punt returner. But we do want to get a little bit more distance because I think special teams is going to play a large part in our success next year. Appreciate.